Aloha, Dave Willeber here with uh, Ho'omalu Native Hawaiian Organization, and I am introducing my sister, uh, fellow co-teacher, uh, partner in ministry, uh, Maile Ayu Domingo. I said it more better this time with Hamao Iloko Foundation, and sister here is going to tell you a little bit about herself because it's important. If you're gonna entrust your kids to us, you need to know a little bit about Sista. So, here she is. <laughs> so this is a prime example about why you should take the class, because if you don't know who the heck you are, people can confuse you. Like brother over here, he texts me every day, I got a different name every single week. <laughs> One day I'm Ray Ray, another day my, I'm Mai Mai, one day I'm Smiley, and uh, he, there's this one half half zeba. What the heck is half zeba? Who wants to be called that? <laughs> but it was really lovely when I actually found the definition of that. And I I knew she's the wife of I can't remember right now. Um, the king. I want to say Hezekiah, but I could be wrong. Anyway, half zeba. So. Hefseba, I fell in, I didn't like that sound. I'm like, I don't want to be called Hefseba, are you crazy? But when I found out what it meant to delight in the blessings and the graces and in the fulfilled desires of the Almighty through your being, I was like, that's totally me. <laughs> it's True. so funny, because he was making fun of me, but I actually found great- I wasn't making great, fun of you. I guess. <laughs> Because it, it means God delights in you. And I was communicating that he delights in you. You're a half. I'm a half. But if you grew up in my family, you may have been insulted by that. Because there's another word that starts with hef. And it's short for that not so nice name. So I thought I could take offense at that. But I didn't really know. Mm -mm. And I also knew his heart that he wasn't trying to offend me. So I, I chose, right? My free choice of will is being exercised here to take that and go discover who am I? And does it align with my personal identity of who I am? And um, like nothing can knock me over. I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know where I come from and I know the values I wanna uphold. And um, so much of that starts in my origin, my ohana. So my parents, Raymond, Henry, Pakahea, Aliong, Ayu, and my mom, Burley and Kapua Ala Harris, they were magnificent. And they birthed eight children. Um, they hanaid uh, three officially and probably like six others unofficially. So I grew up with a massive family and it was this identity of we each have something magnificent to give you know and it's all different like me and my siblings we all laugh at each other but when you stitch together a piece of what each of us can offer the tapestry of our family giving our family um culture is really powerful and i knew that so even with the funny names that dave sends me i can't remember what the other lists are it would be kind of nuts but maybe i'll put it on the screen after so you guys can laugh at the situation <laughs> but i'm also a mother of six um, and one of the things we love to do as family is just get up early and hit the trails and go hiking or waterfalls um, i also love to kayak or stand up paddle so if I'm in Hawaii, I'm going to be stand up paddling or kayaking down a river, across an ocean. And if I'm on the mainland, I usually will find some place that I can go and kayak um, or stand up paddle. So why are you involved with youth and Onipa'a e na opio? Mm. You know how I was talking about, or Dave was talking about, how the Lord delights in who I am? Well, Onipa'a and Naopio is a way for the children to recognize that their creator delights in who they are and who they were created to be and who what they have to offer, right? From 
them as a young man or them as a young woman. And Dave and I can sort of advocate and um, appreciate and edify their masculine gifts and their feminine gifts. And so I really, I really love that opportunity to interact with the kids and that we can share a little bit of our personal culture and family backgrounds with the kids because they want to see that we're real people too mm -hmm. that we have the same struggles that not they perfect do. yep totally imperfect but having fun and loving the journey along the way but giving them a better vision than what we were taught Definitely. that's a big difference maker <laughs> We look forward to making a difference in your children's lives. Aloha.